Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. So I'm usually against grains. Um, these are relatively new to the human diet and not part of the original hunter-gatherer way. Uh, when grains come to a people in their diet, it's a good sign that civilization has grown way too big for that area and is not sustainable with the natural foods that are found there. But I do eat grains at a certain time of year. That time of year is starting right now. Now, there's a common misconception that ancient Europeans, you know, struggled to get their food in the winter, and that's not quite true. Early to midwinter, we were feasting. It was a big feast the whole time. Lots of parties, lots of meat, fish, dairy, the last harvested fruits and vegetables, and other things like that that would give us plenty of food in the months from about, in our time, October to about February. After that is when we would have struggled. So we would have planned to store enough food for the winter, of course, but a lot of the time it doesn't last as long as expected. Maybe it's spoiled earlier than expected, or maybe we had some unexpected guests, uh, especially in the north of Europe, if a king showed up at your place at your homestead or your village he could show up with dozens of his men or even a whole army to your village and you were basically expected to provide an epic feast for them pretty much uh, as long as they felt like staying really so of course it was a total normal thing for humans to experience that they may have burned through their food supply before the end of the winter and really the least food supply would be in the late winter to mid spring because you were still relying on last year's harvest that you had stored and there isn't going to be much other food growing uh, until well into the spring so also it doesn't make uh, much sense to be slaughtering your animals at this time for the food in the late winter because you have just spent all that time and resources taking care of them and you're about to turn them out to graze in just a few weeks now so the first grass grows so it wouldn't make much sense to kill the animals either so so grains is really one of the main parts of the diets uh, because it would still be preserved at this time um, we would not be having a whole lot of meat or fruits or vegetables at this time of course fish we could have year-round but really we're looking at mostly grains in the diets and these for last few months of the winter and early spring uh, also cheese milk dairy uh, eggs anything that we can get from the animals animal products and what can we do with all that combine it that's why especially in the north of europe in this late winter early spring there's lots of baking in the traditional recipes lots of cakes breads pastries desserts lots of sweet stuff too because they had maybe sugar or honey or syrup and they could mix that with what they had available to them at the time the wheats the dairies the eggs and and the sweet stuff all this kinds of thing all of that has a very long shelf life and that would be most available at this time of the year so again i am not a fan of grains or any of that stuff but if you are going to eat it our ancestors would have done so right around February to April, May time.